it's both pretty heavy, but I think the egg might sink. Whoa! Oh no! You can do it. Are you ready? Okay. Whoa! Princess toy review. Hi, Prince and Princess, Princess Bam! Hi, Prince and Princesses, it's Princess Granny! Today we're going to be doing the floating egg science experiment! Alright, Granny, why don't you tell the kids what we need for this science experiment? Well, we need some spoons, we need an egg, a cup, some salt, water, and a measuring cup. Yep, that's all we need, and mm -hmm. you can find this all around your house, which makes it super easy. Yes. Okay, so this science experiment is going to teach us a little bit about density. Density? Mm-hmm. So we're going to start off by adding some water into our cup. And we're going to start by adding it half full. And next, we're going to add the egg. But what do you think? Is it going to sink or float? Leave a comment down below. And I think... That's mm. both pretty heavy, but I think the egg might sink. Whoa! That's correct, Granny. The egg will sink to the bottom because it's more dense than the water. You knew that was going to happen? I knew it, but we're going to change things up a little bit. Oh, how? Well, we're going to use the salt and we're going to add it into the water. So, I'm just going to start by measuring one cup of salt in my measuring cup here. Make sure you ask the pan for help if you need it. <clears throat> so, now I'm going to use my spoon. I'm going to add some salt into my water and then I'm going to mix until the salt dissolves. That's going to be a very salty egg. It is, but the salt is going to change the density of the water. Hmm, it looks like the egg is still at the bottom. Mm -hmm. I think I want to add some more salt. Yeah, I think we're going to need a lot more salt. Because okay. what we're trying to do is get the egg to float. Oh, we're not going to cook it and eat it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've got some salt in here. And now I mix it. Okay, so we've put in a half a cup of yes. salt. And so, we've been mixing, mixing, mixing. Okay, now let's see if the egg's gonna float. <gasps> Did you see that? Whoa, Granny? Wait a minute. It's Whoa, definitely it keeps coming floating. back up. Yep, that means now the water with the salt is now more dense than the egg, and that's why it's floating. That's the coolest egg ever. Mm -hmm. But what else can we do with the egg? I want it to float just halfway. Oh, if you want it to float halfway, I say... We have to take some salt out of the water. Well, that would be kind of hard because the salt is dissolved in the I water. I know. Already. So what we can do is we can add more water to our cup. And we, if we add just the right amount, it should float right in the middle. Okay, let's add the water. Be careful! <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! You see Whoa! that? Girl? Okay. I think it's right in the middle now. <gasps> awesome! You are so smart. Well, I just try to study a lot, Granny. Granny studies a lot too. Yep, I read. Really I study my toys. <laughs> I guess. That is, there is a toy academy that you go to. Mm-hmm, I went there. Okay, so now, if we want the egg to float back to the top, what do you say we add? Do we add the salt or do we add water? Leave a comment below to let us know what the right answer is. I know, mm -hmm. I know, Granny knows. I know. Okay, Granny, what's the answer? We add more salt. That's correct. We put this in and we stir, 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 stir. Let's see if it was enough. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! It's almost full awesome. to the very top. Little bit more salt and stir, 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 stir. And are you ready mm -hmm. to see? <gasps> awesome! Whoa! Good job, Granny. Wow! That was 
was a really fun science experiment to learn about density. But yeah. this is already the end of today's video. Mm -hmm. And if you like more science experiments, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. Bye, Princess Bye. Princess. Bye. Princess Toy Review. Hi, Prince and Princess, Princess Fam! Hi, Prince and Princesses, it's Princess Granny! Today we're going to be making elephant yeah. toy science experiment! Alright, so let's go over what we need for our science experiment. So, we need some dish soap, we need some yeast, we need a graduated cylinder, we also need some food coloring, some measuring cups, oh, we're also going to need some water, and what do you got over there? I got potassium iodide! Mm -hmm. And you also have something over there. Oh, a big bottle. Oh, oh, big, heavy bottle. I have crystal clear peroxide. Okay, so we're actually doing two different versions of the science yes. experiment. We're gonna do a kid friendly one and we're gonna do a not so kid friendly one. The adult one because I'm the adult. So if you wanna do it like Granny, make sure you ask an adult to do it with you. So first, we need to take the 40% hydrogen peroxide and put 200 milliliters right in here. But what next? And next, I have to add two squirts of our Dawn dish soap. So okay. squirt one, squirt two. And now I have to add 10 drops of food coloring. Mm -hmm. And we have purple, light pink, Teal, green, hot pink, blue, red, orange, and yellow. And I think I am going with purple. What? Yes, I'm changing it up. Okay. So we need 10 drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do you know what's next? I know what's next. How do you know? Because I've been studying the granny. Uh, well, mm -hmm. what is next? You mix. How do you mix? You mix gently. That's right. Let's mix it gently. And <gasps> Whoa, look, it all turned purple. And now we have to add one cup of water to our little beaker. Mm -hmm. So we fill this up like this. For this next step, I need to put some gloves on. Mm -hmm. And now, we take our one tablespoon measuring spoon, we open our potassium iodide, and we will add one tablespoon of it to the water at first. Like this. and we will keep adding more until it stops dissolving. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've added more and more. As you can see on the bottom right here, it is not dissolving anymore. So mm -hmm. it means we're done. It means we're done. And do you know what the term is called when it's like that? Done? Yeah, we're not done. It means the solution is saturated. But yes. Very saturated. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now it's time for the scientific experiment. All right, you ready, Granny? Yes, I'm so nervous. Okay. We're gonna take this mixture mm -hmm. and put it right in here. Yep. Oh no! You can do it. Are you ready? Ready. Wow! Look at that. Oh it, my! It goodness. turned green, but it keeps coming. It and is. coming. It's kind of like holding oh, on, you see that? It is! This is incredible! Mm -hmm. Whoa, Granny, that was a really awesome reaction, but what's going on with the color? I thought yes. it was supposed to be purple. It's probably because 
because of the blue dish so it turned like a greenish brownish yellow but it looks pretty awesome so now for the kid friendly version yes. we're going to be using I will need some hydrogen peroxide please I'm gonna make out right one out. half of a cup here you go Thank you. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that in here. And then I'm gonna add some food coloring. Mm, add some mean? pink, should I add some pink? No, I'm gonna add blue because I want my elephant toothpaste to be blue. <gasps> oh, that's right. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's very smart. And maybe you. I'm not gonna add 10. Maybe just five. One, two, three, four, and five. And now we mix? Not yet. I'm actually gonna add some dog dish soap. But in the kid friendly version, I'm only gonna add in one squirt. So here we go. One squirt. And now we mix. Okay, so I'm going to mix, 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 mix. Gently, gently. Gentle. Don't worry, that's my specialty, Granny. I'm always gentle. Next, I'm going to add this package of yeast into my water. Okay, here we go. Mm. Okay, so there I have 20 milliliters of water and I'm adding this yeast into it. And then, once I'm all done adding that, I'm just going to take my mixer and I'm going to mix, mix, mix. All right, Granny, are you ready? I'm ready to see what yours looks like. All right, let's do it. Let's add it. <gasps> wow! Check it out. It's super foamy. <gasps> I love it. It really looks like toothpaste, Granny. And it blue. Does. And it came out so quick. <laughs> Whoa, Granny, I have to say, I think the kid-friendly version actually looks more like toothpaste. It looks more like toothpaste. Version was much bigger. That's true. It was quicker. So, Princess Fam, how does this happen? Well, Granny, elephant toothpaste is actually a rapid decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. So, the potassium iodide or the yeast in warm water is the catalyst? Yep, that's right, Granny. Oh. And how rapid your reaction is depends on your hydrogen peroxide. <gasps> oh, wow! All right, this is the end of today's video. If you like more science experiments, give this one a big thumbs up and subscribe. Bye, Prince and Princess. Bye! Bye.